Alrighty, what's up guys? Single player Nacho here. And well, I wish I wasn't. Not in the same universe where this faceless, formless mass of guts and blubber, known as the Dredge, exists. This sacred island dweller slash cult devourer is the brand new killer in Dead by Daylight. And boy does it love to kill. Just look at that horrendous yellow hue within its eyes. This thing has seen some shits. It's difficult to describe what the dredge is in its physical form because claws and limbs are simply all over the place. Worse yet, this is not one of those nice killers that have some sort of redemption arc. The dredge stalks people in the dark, specifically those who are bad intentioned, naughty people. Imagine this thing behind you. You'd probably freeze before it starts eating you piece by piece. After all, this is one hungry killer. This shows in the dredge's design, as it is essentially a stack of barbecue ribs stuck onto a corn dog for some reason. Lots of extra teeth and bones fester around its body, and it carries the skulls of its victims like cute little trophies. The dredge is an utterly disturbing creature, but so too is its troubling origins, where a cult, an island, dark devotion, and dozens of missing people all mesh into a horrifying story. It all begins on a beautiful, secluded island in the 1960s. An expensive yacht carries troubled youths and disillusioned people, and one Otto Stamper, a wealthy and powerful man. Carelessness and general happiness envelops the guests. They laugh obliviously as they leave all the negativity of their old life behind. But it is all a facade. These people are not on some fancy vacation, no. These are naive followers of Otto Stamper, and the followers have been indoctrinated with his deranged teachings. Otto teaches them to never, ever have dark thoughts, speak dark or negative words, and live in a blissful, peaceful way, even if it is fake. Positive thinking, always. It seems well-intentioned, but not when Otto's cult and island purchase was funded by multi-billionaires and shadow money. That's when you start to question the real intent behind this cult, and what's really going on in that island. In actuality, a violent, ominous force resides on the island. Its ancient, mysterious form disappears in an instant, making it one tough and ugly predator. The dredge is the host and the executioner, but it hides itself for now. Otto Stamper and his followers, known as Ottomarians, make the island their home, a paradise land with nothing but peace and free-loving society. It's great, and everyone is happy. As we all know, however, there is a ticking time bomb for happiness. The smiles begin to fade, the Kool-Aid gets stale, and uncertainty hits the Automarians. They fight, they cheat, they steal. It seems as though their old life they'd left miles away was just around the corner. Cult leader Otto saw his once fun-loving and all-powerful message of peace slowly fade away, and his smile and sanity followed. He needed a solution to this growing problem. Panic struck the Automarian community. They barked and hollered in fear as their people began to mysteriously disappear one by one. Rumors of a grotesque night monster that swallowed victims whole, picking their limbs apart with ease. The Automarians looked to Otto, their leader, for guidance. His sickening smile stood out among the frightened faces of everyone else. He begins his speech. Peace, light. It is our divine right. Fear and darkness is. 
a poison to our community. It is not in the form of a beast, but in the form of you, and I. Those who have disappeared, they were not worthy of our holy land. The shadows are simply weeding out the bastards who've destroyed our divine right. So I say to you all, continue smiling, continue our positive plight, and it is my promise that the shadows will not take you. Otto tells his Ottomarians to stay home, pray, and repeat benevolent mantras. He orders them not to sleep, for dark manifestations during dreams and nightmares may attract this shadowy beast. Otto promises that once this purge is over, everything will go back to normal. Panic turned into madness. Otto's solutions weren't enough, as more and more followers disappeared. An air of guilt and suspicion filled the island, and anyone suspected of embroiling themselves in dark thoughts was snitched out. A fateful rainy day on the island had come. The Ottomarians had found the imposter within their cult, a woman accused of being an investigative journalist. To them, she was the pretender, the bringer of all this misery, and the island demon itself. The journalist was presented to Otto, where she was quickly imprisoned by the daft and sleep-deprived followers. In the eyes of the cult, this was a victory for peace, and a traitor was to be shown justice. Behold, the vice of the Ottomarians. The bastard woman who yielded the beast. Finally, you have been found. Stop. Otto is a complete madman. You've all been fooled. It's all bullshit. The man trusts the island. Do you all not wonder where the money is coming from? He and his billionaire friends do not care about any of you. This is an experiment. Your friends didn't go missing. They've all been sacrificed. An uneasy silence is present. Only rain droplets can be heard, as the truth is finally out. The Ottomarians were completely tricked. Their friends murdered. Their sleep-deprived minds filled with madness. And that madness turns into violence. Dark, merciless, vile, primal violence. The Ottomarians bite and chew on each other through flesh and bone. As they murder one another, Otto slowly stands back and smiles. This is what he truly wanted. The sacrifices he committed were hard enough, but this? This is mass genocide, twisted up puddles of human flesh. This was paradise for the dredge. It emerges from the darkness and comes to collect. The vile leftovers fill its physical form and it feels empowered and whole. After all, the Ottomarians were a huge herd. The dredge and Otto share one final look and it disappears into the fog. Well, that's one messed up story. It's also why you should never, ever join a cult. And now it's time to look at some items and trivia that further describe the Dredge's lore. First up, we have the broken doll. This item reveals a sad detail to an already fucked up story. This doll belonged to a child within the cult 
meaning there were kids present during all this tomfoolery. As the description states, followers brought their families to live in a utopia. That sucks for the kids, anyway. I get the sentiment of trying to raise kids in a perfect, perfect world, but sadly, it was the dredges' world 24-7. Next we have the boat key. This simple yet extremely useful item would have been the only way out of the island. Unfortunately, the key was hidden away by Otto. If you really think about it, these people were completely stranded and helpless. There was just no way out, and also, there was a hideous corndog monster chasing them around. And last we have the sacrificial knife. I bet you guys know what this was used for. This was the knife that was plunged into the throat of the journalist who had just revealed Otto's true intent. The description states, There are imposters amongst you. They intend to destroy our perfect home with dark thoughts. Find them and bring them to me. Otto Stamper. Now that's one giant asshole. And lastly, I'll give my honest and final thoughts on the Dredge's lore and how this thing was even born. The Dredge is essentially a manifestation of dark and negative thoughts, violence, and other nasty things brought into one giant disgusting package. It's all of the vileness into one. And so I do wonder what actually happened on that island before the Ottomarians even arrived there. Is this an ongoing cult slash ritual where a bunch of people or a community is brought there and killed over and over again? And for what purpose? What's the end goal here with the dredge? Is this entire thing just to keep it satisfied and full? <laughs> How many bodies do you need to eat, Mr. Dredge, to not be hungry anymore? It's a great question. I don't think it would answer, I think it would just eat you, and you would be justifiably eaten. Because don't stand next to this thing, please. It genuinely is a scary monster. If you look at one of the alternate costumes, it's so scary looking. It actually brings to light all those kids that may have been killed by it, which is fortunately something that wasn't expanded upon. Another thing that could have been expanded upon is that shadowy group of billionaires. Who are these people? In Dead by Daylight, we all know these guys belong to the entity, probably. And so this is why this cycle of mass genocide within a cult and the dredge comes up to clean as their beautiful janitor. I think that's pretty much what it is. The dredge is a janitor. So comment down below if you think the dredge would clean a bathtub correctly. <laughs> it's quite a talent. Well, thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below what you thought of the dredge's lore and the questions you have regarding its lore. Are you guys playing the dredge? Do you like it so far? Comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more Dead by Daylight lore, lists, and mysteries. Have an awesome rest of your day, and as always, stay single.